thanks. Uh, yeah, welcome everyone. We are just on Wednesday, middle of the week. Welcome for today's stand-up, uh, which is going to be led by me, Everest. Uh, I hope you guys are doing great uh, on your towards your weekly challenge, and also that you're trying to uh, resolve the challenges that you are facing, whether technical or non-technical. So we are going to hear from people how they are doing. Uh, for today's, most of the, the responses will turn um, around uh, the progress towards to the interim submission, like what percentage are you in terms of confidence that you're going to meet the deadline for today, and also any broker that you're facing, any learning that you are also uh, meeting during this week. Uh, so as I usually mention, uh, that one of my weak weaknesses is that um, I, I don't feel comfortable calling people like randomly because I want to see people uh, volunteer for this the speech uh, because when we are trying to, to to discuss or share our how our weeks are going this is something that is volunteer uh, like no one needs to force you to speak uh, because this is something you have to, to develop during the training. Uh, you need to develop technical skills and also be able to develop some professional skills, including public speaking, uh, openness to speak as well, because the teamwork will require this. Um, hopefully that my request will be accepted during today's stand-up. So I see we have a few people that have joined. I don't know what happened. Maybe Mary can uh, remind them on the Slack because we are very few, 25 out of 50. It's, it's a low number, actually. Great. So let's start from um, Daisy. Good morning, Daisy. Uh, good morning, Everest. Thank you very much. I am doing well. Um, I have been able to make significant progress. Uh, yesterday I was held back because of a power outage and I was not feeling well. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better today and when I woke up I was able to finish up on task one. So I want to start working up on the slides and then once I'm done with that then I can work on um, the ML, MLOPS component. Um, so confidence level 70 to 80 because um, I experienced a lot of blockers with the melops last time, but I've been able to touch up on that. So hopefully this time um, will be smoother. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Daisy, for sharing. So how, how, how confident are you that you're going to meet the deadlines for today? Like, uh, yeah, per 10, out of 10. Oh, meeting the deadline, definitely that's a 10, but like meeting a deadline in terms of checking all the boxes and submissions, maybe a 7 to 8 out of 10 because, but yes, I have to struggle and meet the 10. Wow. So I think 8 is good uh, and keep uh, keep going forward. And also, apart from that, you were not feeling well yesterday. Any other brokers? Also, the power out outage? Any other blockers? Um, none other than that. Okay, thank you for sharing, Daisy. Thank you. Uh, let's hear from Martin, the next Binyam. I also need to see some hands coming from the group as well. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, yesterday I've been working on Yesterday I've been working on uh, the task two. Uh, that is the modeling part of it. And uh, I hope that I'll be able to complete, by the end of the day, I'll be able to have completed a task three so that uh, I can be able to have opportunity for uh, going through the entire task. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, no blockers. Thank you. How, how can you write out yourself out of 10 that you're going to meet today's deadline, Martin? 
uh, I've not. Uh, can I? Can you? I haven't had. Like out of ten, uh, how can you rate yourself that you're going to meet the deadline? Uh, for today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, for today, I'm I'm able to meet the deadline. Um, because uh, I had completed task one, so uh, that is um like seven or uh, around eight, nine, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's great, right? Uh, hopefully that you don't face any other brokers and uh, that you're able to complete the challenge and also submit on time so that you can also spare some time to work on the remaining for the final submission. Uh, let's hear from... Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, no, thank you. Let's hear. You're welcome. Let's hear from uh, Biniam. Then next is Margaret. Okay, can you hear me? Good morning, Biniam. Hello. Okay, good morning, everyone, again. Uh, uh, to give you an update on my progress, I've been working on task two yesterday, and uh, I have made uh, quite uh, progress. Uh, I believe I will be able to finish task two and uh, move on to task three today. Uh, regarding blockers, other than power outage, like Daisy said, uh, I haven't had any technical blockers. Uh, and maybe some I haven't quite understood exactly what uh, some of the questions are asking. Uh, may, there are already conversations going on on the Slack about those. So, about those, so if uh, the Tien Academy team can provide some insights on that, that would be great. Other than that, uh, it's it's going great, and thank you. Thanks, Binia. What are what are those questions that probably you have? Uh, one uh, one of the questions is uh, uh, this one question. Uh, I think it's on task two that asks us to create a new feature, uh, and uh, it says find. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it says. Uh, find uh, the number of days to holidays in the number of days after holidays. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what exactly that's asking because there are uh, a number of holidays in the, uh, are we expected to create a new column for each holiday and uh, assign a, a distance number uh, maybe to each row uh, based on that holidays date. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the question is asking, so if uh, you can give us a clarification, that would be great. Okay, so I think I saw that thread from the Slack, and but maybe if if you can have tutors clarify that on the call would be much better. Uh, I see Anastasia was joining when you you were talking. Also, I have Desmond. Hi, Desmond. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Do you do, you, do you have some clarification you can give to any question? Okay, Let, just give me a few minutes, then I'll get back. Okay. Great. So, Biniam, glad that the the question is also on Slack. And uh, uh, glad that the question is also on Slack. Uh, probably they are, they are going to reach out for the clarification on what you need to to do regarding the task. And uh, thank you for sharing for today. And also, sorry for the power outage. How long was the power outage, Binyam? Okay, thank you. Uh, the power outage uh, <clears throat> was for about uh, four or five hours, so it was quite uh, retarding. <clears throat> so, any arrangement that you made uh, during those that period? Uh, not particularly. I just uh, compensated by staying up late uh, more than I usually do. So, I've managed to uh, do the work. Uh, when the light, the power came back. Sorry, sorry to hear that. And glad you, the power came back, and also tried to manage the work. 
yeah, it's something that is unexpected and that we have to cope with the uh, story for the, the situation. Now, hopefully it doesn't go, it doesn't go, to, it doesn't go to be like persisting uh, in the coming days. So let's hear from uh, then next is Yedidia. Okay, good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning, Keza. Can you hear me right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, yesterday, I was uh, trying to add some modules to my uh, pre-processing status. And uh, I managed to complete uh, my EDA sections. And, uh, and so uh, there are um, questions regarding to answering the business questions, which is, uh, I see uh, Biniam already asked the question. Uh, and uh, I have already completed my idea, but still there is some questions uh, to answer, some business questions. Uh, the rest I didn't get any major challenges. Uh, and today I have a plan to uh, build my pipeline and try to uh, some uh, run some trainings for, from my uh, data set. So uh, I plan on doing the including the internet port of the network of them. And I am expecting to have some clarification on uh, any questions. I was moving uh, in the wrong direction, but after any asked question on Slack. I try to realize I don't think I can uh, answer in that way. So uh, this mm -hmm. is my status, and I'm waiting for some questions on that. Okay. Um, thanks, Geza. As actually, that's that, that's the importance of asking questions because you ask it for yourself, but also for the group. Because sometimes, sometimes other people can be probably getting the instructions wrong. Or thinking they can manage to do it but if you are confused and you are not open to ask that you can be probably posing a challenge to others uh, it's great that you can ask a question where you have a doubt or a confusion which can get out and also which can be beneficial to the community um, thanks Geza uh, for sharing and uh, hopefully that you are on track towards today's submission. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks. Um, let's hear from Edidia. The next is Henok. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, hope morning. everyone is doing great. So, uh, for the past two days, I've been working on more on data exploration as well as a bit of data pre-processing. Uh, the broker that I can say is that I was also having challenge understanding some of the tasks that were given in the challenge. Uh, I didn't quite clearly understand what we were supposed to do and I hope it's been clarified and I hope it will be clarified fully with the tutorial as well. Uh, for today's submission, I hope to complete it on time. I'm not sure if I can complete all the tasks by the time, but uh, I hope to submit the task is what I have done. Great. How can you rate yourself uh, out of 10 uh, towards submitting on time? Uh, <clears throat> I think I can submit. It. I'm quite confident that I will submit it on time, which means 10 out of 10 for the submission. But uh, on completion of the tasks, I think maybe 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Um, that's a great progress. And also um, that you are optimistic uh, to the extent. We hope that the two remaining is going to be um, removed or completed in a few hours to come. Let's hear from uh, Enoch and also next, Margaret. Hi, Enoch. We can't hear you. Hello, 
enough. Maybe you can be close to your microphone. Otherwise, we can move to the next person. Yeah, uh, it's coming. Okay, okay. So, uh, I was saying that uh, the blockers I was having were not so much understanding the questions, but how to go about solving them, how to manipulate the data in order to answer those questions. So, uh, yeah, I'm hopeful that I will solve them by tonight. I've already done some of them, but there are some that I'm not fully understanding. What, what, what are you doing about that, Enoch? Uh, not understanding the challenge is instructions as well. Uh, what resources are you using? I'm looking at some of the Kaggle kernels that are shared in the problem description document and yeah, that is helping. Some of them are done in R, but like I can transfer some of the concepts from that. Okay, thanks. Uh, you can also yeah use your friends, your colleagues as a resources. Yeah, yeah. Right. So let's hear from Margaret. Good morning, Michael. Um, good morning, Everest and everyone. So week three for me has been going okay. Um, yesterday I just had a challenge with understanding the different data sets that we were given, but I got through that and I also appreciated um, getting guidance from one. Um, yeah, I'm hopeful that I will submit before the deadline today. Have a good day. Well, thank you, Margaret. Um, so hopefully that you managed to understand uh, um, what was challenging on the tasks and uh, let me know if you have any other brokers uh, apart from that i will please okay uh the next person uh but before i move i move on uh we need to hear from uh more ladies uh, as much as i can because it looks that today's uh, uh, there are quite few that are probably volunteering to speak. And uh, yeah, I see Matilda. But let's start from uh, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy and also the next person is Matilda. Then we'll be followed by Shaka Kevin. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Okay, uh, I started working yesterday uh, because I I couldn't work uh, w w I could not work on Monday, and uh, yesterday I worked on a task uh, task one uh, uh, customers behavior uh, exploration, and uh, today I am to work on uh, logging in the list. Uh, my I, the challenges I had was uh, some of the assignments were difficult for me to comprehend. Um, but now I have a better, un I, I think I have a better understanding. Mm -hmm. Thank so, you. Are, are you on the right track to towards the day submission? Um, not really. Okay. But I will try uh, my best. Sure. So if you have some other brokers that you can share with, with us on Slack, you can do, you can reach out to mm -hmm. Tutors, you can reach out to me on Slack as well with the, uh, the brokers that you feel like can be supported and so that you can submit on time and finish what okay. you have. So, and and of course, you understand if you have uh, the deliverable, which can be updated after submission, you can still hand in, but uh, of course, work some extra minutes or hours to complete it or update it especially when you're submitting like a GitHub link. That's something you can submit on time, but also 
keep on updating that uh, because at the end of the day, that's your project and that's the project you showcase to employers. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to submit on time. That's not what we actually expect. We, at the end of the day, we expect to have uh, um, a very competent, uh, highly competent portfolio or the work that is outstanding that someone can go through and feel like, yeah, this person really did a great job. Not actually rushing for submission. You can submit before time. But if you're not confident or really happy with what you have handed in, you can still work on it and also update it before the, yeah, why not the next day comes in. Uh, thanks for sharing okay. and also. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let, let's hear from Matilda. Good morning, Matilda. Hello, Matilda. Are you speaking? We can't hear you, but you can mute it as I can see. Okay. Um, maybe we come back uh, to Matilda next. Let's hear from Chaka. So if Matilda's issues is resolved, you can be, uh, you can let us know, then we'll give you a go ahead. Uh, hi, Shaka, Kevin. Hi, Everest, and hi, everyone. So my yesterday was about dealing with data exploration, and uh, I was working on EDA by trying to answer the given questions. And uh, today I'm planning to to work more on logging and some email part, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to to submit the task. So, thanks, Kevin. So, do you have any big broker? No, so far no broker. So, how can how how are you rating yourself to a, out of ten uh, to meeting today's deadline? Uh. Yeah, I will try to I will try to submit all the tasks, but regarding the task completion for today, I can let like seven out of ten. Great. Um let's let's keep approaching um nine out of ten and that's not a bad progress and hopefully you don't meet any other broker towards um uh, the deadlines. Um before we move to the next person, thanks for sharing Chaka. Um, I'll probably read through what I have into a chat box from the, some people who were not able to speak, but were willing to type. So I start from Michael. Michael said uh, yesterday was doing the, the EDA part and he plans to shift into the logging and email part today. Um, he's observing the changes in himself and uh, as he was probably new to data science with Python, uh, he thinks that he's getting good to understanding it. He's optimistic about the future and um, of course he was, was having the same brokers of the power outage and time management. Uh, thanks, Michael. I hope that you are probably improving on time management as you move on. And if you still have any issue, you can still get support from us anytime, uh, especially for this time management. And hopefully that this power outage is not going to persist and that you can be able to manage to, to work on the tasks. So another next person is Ken. Uh, so far, so good. I uh, fin finalizing task one point one and the interim submission. Um, no serious brokers from his end. Um, thanks, guys. Thanks, Kenny and Michael. So let's hear from Matilda, if uh, you can now speak. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, very well. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Um, so my progress so far, I'm almost done with EDA. I have been stuck for some good uh, hours working on a certain plot that wasn't um, functioning 
that suddenly stopped functioning. So it was giving me a bit of stress, but I have received help from one of the trainees and now I am set to go. So I'm hoping that I will get done with EDA, hopefully by um, maybe before the day ends and work on the slides and and um, the remaining bits of the challenge. So I'm hoping that I'll get done on time and I won't get any other blockers. Thank you. Thanks, Matilda. Um, how much can you rate yourself out of 10 towards meeting deadlines? Um, I'd say that I'm at seven, um, seven or eight, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So I'm hoping I'll get to 10, maybe by, by 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Great. Uh, that's not a bad progress. Let's hope that, of course, you will reach out of, like, reach nine by some hours to come so that you can hand in on time. And of course, advise always keep updating what, what you have done, especially when you feel you're not really satisfied. I, I know you have um, a very compact time um, then, and also you need to rest. But yeah, it's always good to keep update, updating. If you hand it something, why not also try to improve it and work on it when you get uh, some small time. Uh, thanks for sharing, Matilda. And this, the next person is Abel then to Victor. Hello, Hi, Ebo. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I was simply trying to comprehend the, the data uh, on Monday and try to do some exploration on Tuesday. And I wanted to continue on the EDA in the email section. Uh, today and um, I'm not sure I'm ready uh, to showcase my work on today's submission but I plan to submit it anyway and I may also update my work while on the move mm -hmm. so that's it yeah so what what do you feel like you're not ready to submit on time ago uh, I wasn't I wasn't that much confident. Uh, I just finished uh, pre-processing and some of the explorations yesterday and I wasn't able to understand some of the questions that were handed in, uh, in the document. But uh, I plan to um, update my work while on the move by yeah. submitting what I have today. Great. That's, that's another alternative, uh, especially when you feel like what you have is not enough so waiting for long for next some meeting for next day not like a great idea especially for something that you can update uh when you're moving forward um mm -hmm. please do and thanks for sharing let's hear from victor morning victor yeah morning um trust you are fine i don't know if you can hear me <laughs> yeah Okay. All right. Okay. Um, yesterday was quite okay for me. I was um, able to uh, finish up tax 1.1, but then I was uh, unable to write the logger file for tax 1.2. So I uh, went online to look for uh, sort out for articles on how to go about it. And then I just asked some people that I know of. And they said, uh, I should just write an info of what I've done. That's what they mean we should do. But that's what I've been doing this morning. I started around 7 a.m. So I'm about to be done. Then uh, I can move on into um, writing my uh, my email flow and then uh, putting it inside the model that I'm going to build, probably with um, Facebook Profit. Mm. Okay, um, glad you managed to, yeah, to find a resource that can help you understand what you're not understanding. And uh, of course, yeah, the things that, the great things that we have resources, uh, people and also some online resource. And yeah, advice when you, you, you meet a challenge, you find a great resource, 
please do share that because everybody can be struggling with the same um, the same uh, challenge or issue. But uh, yeah, you can really be someone who can um, relieve that pain, if I can say, because they can they can be able to refer to what you have found and also try to get out of the challenge that they are facing too as well. So let's let's improve the habit of sharing what we got when we think we think they are useful. Uh, thanks for sharing, uh, Victor. Yeah, the next thank person you. Is, the next person is Meraku. Then uh, we need to hear from other people. Uh, we need to see some hands raised uh, from from ladies as well. Um, then after Miracle, I will read from Stella and also some read from what they wrote. Hi, Miracle. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, to give an update uh, on, on the past two days, I have finally managed to finish uh, task one. So there is a slight, uh, so I'm going to modify slightly my uh, task 1.2 about the logger, but uh, I think I have completely finished my task one. So today I'll be working on uh, task two. So uh, that's an update I have for me. Thanks, Mary. Um, any brokers? No, no. So far it's all uh, going well. So I'm hopeful that uh, I'll be finish the tasks and submit all the uh, tasks. So um, out of 10, uh, towards submitting? <laughs> I, <laughs> I would rate myself seven. So now to be modest, I would rate myself seven. From zero seven, so from eight, because uh, <laughs> you understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's 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 great that um, you guys are optimistic, and also, yeah, the the main purpose is not submitting on time. Even though I have been trying to challenge you on rating yourself and yourself on uh, uh, submitting on time, yes, handing in time is great because when you go to work, they will also give you a task a task which will have a deadline. The sending a task uh, on time is also practice and when you feel like the task is not ready yet um, yeah you can do hand in what you have and see if it's a task that you can update as you move on uh, thanks for sharing and also thanks for being optimistic uh, you gotta read from uh, Stella Stella says that uh, she, she's been working on task one and also finished the EDA um today she's she's going to work on the report the broker was to understand some of the tasks mm, i don't know if stella can uh, be able to talk to probably elaborate on this um, what were the tasks that were challenging stella can you can you speak yeah no yeah thank you so much. hello yeah I, we can okay. hear you um, so I, I i was saying uh, regarding the broker of understanding some of the tasks can you elaborate more well um for some questions i just didn't uh exactly know what they meant i had already done them but now later I came to realize that they were not uh, solving the, the questions so now i had to go back and uh, think about them again but I think I'm okay. And I'll also reach out on the Slack uh, for any more questions. Okay. Yeah, please do. Please do reach out on, on Slack. If you see we are not probably providing the, the response on time, you can probably also uh, reach inbox privately where necessary, but we encourage to, to share your issues and also resolve the issues on Slack channel, which is 
beneficial to the community than uh, individual themselves. Um, hopefully that you're, you are also on track to submitting today's interim submission. Yes, um, if I continue, the way I've been going, I will try my best to ensure that I I manage at least all the, the requirements. Right, thanks. Uh, before I move to Tadese, I'm going to read from Samrawit. Uh, the update for today is almost done with the, the EDA hoping to finish task 1.1 today. Uh, no serious brokers. Uh, the confidence for submitting on time is seven out of 10. Uh, keep going forward, uh, Samrawit. If you have any other issues, feel free to contact on Slack and the group, uh, Slack group, but sometimes also this to the uh, respective people who can provide a quick uh, support. Uh, thanks for sharing from the chat. Let's hear from Tadese. And next is Tesfai. Uh, I think we still have some time. We, we will need to hear from some people who might might probably read from the, the list if nobody was able to speak. Hi, hi Tadese. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm, I'm doing on some machine learning issues <laughs> yesterday evening, but before I finalized my data exploration issues and the other codes, uh, time series analysis and uh, profit analysis, I have merged it in on a single file and I have done that one, but uh, on the machine learning and the modularizing the code I'm doing on it uh, as a blocker maybe I'm doing on some branches and uh, I have merged it to the main but in between the merge conflict is raised and uh, uh, I am just working on it uh, yet I haven't uh, uh, fixed that one and I will I will try to fix and I will try to communicate people who have uh, worked on it. So this is my progress. Maybe for the submission, it is difficult to rate uh, the submission uh, optimism. Maybe there is no light <laughs> here now. I have a battery. Uh, I am working only on the laptop with a low battery so uh, i hope uh, i will submit could i say six <laughs> to maybe oh that's great to hear that what happened to your laptop uh, my lo laptop is fine but uh, the light is not there here the light is gone mm -hmm. just uh, that is it Okay, sorry, sorry for the broker. So, okay. So for the broker, and I, yeah, keep, 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 keep working, keep moving forward, and try to, yeah, to raise from six to eight out of ten. Then, and also, yeah, you can also another thing is to prioritize for the things you can work and also get them done before. So you need to what what what's necessary needs to be completed before and what is the next one that i can complete so it's also good maybe you will learn more about that in terms of prioritization of the tasks especially um, when you're facing challenges like that you can see which one is more important and urgent to do first and get them done so it doesn't interfere with the uh, those brokers. Thanks for sharing, uh, Tadese. Then Tesfai. Tesfai, after Tesfai, then we will hear from Eden, Amon, Neron, Theodros. Then I think to will be the time. Okay. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello, everyone. 
Good morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, yesterday I have uh, tried my best to uh, finish the EDA part. Uh, uh, so I have uh, done a really good job. There are just uh, some uh, beautification of the plotting is left, and also adding a logging the logging module for my EDA. Uh, so I have planned to do those uh, two uh, for today, and uh, also a report, write a report on my EDA analysis, mm. so that uh, it will be ready for the submission uh, for today. Uh, rating uh, for rating, I think out of ten, I would say I am at seven, but I am sure I can get to ten uh, by the end of the day. Okay, thanks. That's fine. Seven is not bad, and uh, hopefully that we manage to send in on time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, glad to see that uh, to to feed. I'm sensing optimism from almost everybody. That is a great sign. So let's hear from Eden. Um. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, yesterday, I was able to finish task one, which was the EDA and logging and also initializing DVC. And today I'm planning on finalizing the reports and move on to task two. Uh, as for block headers, I've gotten in so far and for the rating, I would rate myself eight to nine. Thank you. Wow. Thanks, Eden. And... Yeah, glad that you are really confident enough that you're going to submit on time. Uh, keep working hard. So use the okay. resources you have, uh, people and also some other resources. You have tutors, you have colleagues, you have online resources. You have also resources that you have in the challenge document. So keep going, keep going. Uh, let's hear from mm -hmm. Amon. Then next is Meron. Amon, uh, good morning. Amon Roth will probably is able to speak. Finished uh, EDA yesterday using BBC and ML4. We're going to move um, along with task two today. So thanks for sharing, Amon, and hopefully that you're also going to meet today's deadline. As, as meeting interim deadline is a great start for also meeting the final deadline for for the sub final submission and also be able to work on other extra tasks like career challenges and also other other tasks that needs to be sent in before the end of the, the week. Let's hear from Meron. Good morning, Meron. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Good morning. So as for my report regarding the tasks, I am trying to wrap up with the Task one, I'm almost done with my ADA and uh, I'm feeling optimistic. Uh, I hope I'll be able to make the deadline. So I have also set up uh, my DVC and all. So I guess that's it. I'm trying to finish this task and move on to task two. Uh, before that, also submit my interim report on time. As for the rating, I would rate uh, myself regarding the submission for for today about seven so yes thank you thanks maroon and uh, hopefully that you'll be on nine let's say in some some three hours to come so thanks for sharing and i can sense some most of the i can sense optimism from you and from everyone so thanks for sharing let's hear from Teodros. Good morning, Teodros. Okay, good morning. Uh, so yesterday I was working on uh, the EDA. Uh, there's still a bit left to work on that, so I'll uh, prioritize work finalizing that first. And then I'll uh, uh, write the report for the interim submission. And that's basically it uh, for the interim submission that's left. And my optimism is about uh, an eight, so Hopefully, I'll get to attain by the end of the day. 
Well, thanks, thanks to Odros for for sharing, and also thanks for the optimism that you have. So it's great to see that you guys are really optimist, optimistic um, towards the work you're doing, and also how you probably see the week is going to end. Um, I just have something to add before we close. Uh, it's a note on the submission. I sent that on the Slack as well. So let's avoid some disappointments. If let's let's say you have worked for uh, twelve hour hours on a task, then you submit it, then you go relax, feeling that you have already submitted. You come back in the next twenty four hours and you find you, your submission didn't go through. So that's that's gonna be a, a disappointment. So please let's review or verify if we have already handled in because um, you can f find yourself being late, yet you were, you were not late. So that's my advice for today. So hopefully that no one is having issues regarding the systems like um, reviewing their, um, their leaderboard on 10x system. Uh, are we guys able to see our leaderboards? Anyone facing issues? So no one. Um, let's hope so. If you're having the issue, but I'm not willing to share here, please do reach out on Slack because we love to have feedback from you guys on the system, especially the challenge you're facing that we can share with the. the the development team uh, who are working uh, tirelessly to make it stable as good as possible. So before we close, I didn't uh, start on announcement, but let's see if we have announcement from the team. But before that, let's hear from Matilda. Hey Matilda, I see your hand. Good morning again. So. <laughs> I have a suggestion. I don't know if it is doable. Um, the non-technical team usually send us feedback and um, maybe show us some samples of the things we did well, or maybe among maybe the best uh, presentations that were submitted. So I was wondering whether for the technical bit, whether we would get um, such reports for us to see, you know, some of us do not, um, might not maybe have a very clear picture of how, of what is expected of us fully, like, you know, getting an 88 out of 100 is still not 100, you know, like if you get someone with, um, who performed better in that specific technical um, submission, then we can know how to maybe make adjustments for future reports and yeah improve ourselves and improve our submission so i'll appreciate if maybe we got such like feedback and examples yeah thank you thanks matilda it's, it's a great suggestion actually i hope for it it's not going to be hard to implement i will work with the, the tutors and also yeah everybody involved to see if we can replicate what we have from non technical to the technical uh, department. Thanks for the suggestion. I think it's a great suggestion from my end. So let's hear from from the team. Do you have any announcement, Mary? None from my end. Thank you. Great. Thanks. So I think on the schedule, um, what next is yeah i still have time for it it's it's not very soon but it looks like it's female session so you keep keep looking on the schedule and also follow schedules if you have questions please yeah keep asking remember that we have a five minutes response policy uh, from your question or slack even though it can't be a hundred percent implemented we will do our best to respond to your your questions on Slack, please be active as much as you can 
and on Slack to ask questions where what you're facing so you can hear from your colleagues how to tackle them. If not, you can hear from um, any person from an academic team. Thank you guys for today. I wish you all the best as you move towards uh, our work. Uh, thanks for coming. I think we can close the recording. Thanks so much. Cheers.